Hey, how's it going folks? Etsy here with another tutorial. Today's tutorial, we're going to show you how to edit video from an external hard drive. And the main purpose for this is that you have an internal drive with a limited amount of storage. So you probably don't want to actually fill it up. Right here, my computer is about a 500 gigabyte SSD. And I want to keep this 300 free as long as possible. So what I have here is an external hard drive and this one happens to be a USB 3 hard drive. So what I'm actually going to show you how to do is create an iMovie library on an external drive so you can actually edit off of this and I guess people call them scratch drives. So let's go ahead and mess with that. Here we go. We're going to open up iMovie and it's very simple. You go to file, you go to open library, you go to new. Potentially you'll only see this much. So if you hit that down arrow, it'll give you a choice to actually find the external drive. You're going to name the file leaving that suffix. So we'll call this 123. Okay. Then we'll hit save. Make sure we're going to that right direction on that drive. And now you have a library here that is on that external hard drive. And you can import and edit movies off of that instead of using your internal drive. Okay. So from here, you can go to add new movie. I'm going to pick no theme. And then you're going to pick the library you want. This is the, this is the key. Make sure you put it in that library you created or you're going to be using that local drive. And we'll call this one, two, three movie project. Okay. Hit okay. Okay. I'm going to go to the projects. We got my one, two, three movie project, double click on that. And you can see that we're actually in this external library. Okay. So we import the media. I just grab one clip here. And as soon as that's finished, we'll go ahead and click close. And then I'm going to minimize here. We're going to go over to our hard drive, open it up. We're going to look for one, two, three library and a right click show package contents and we can see that let's go to the original media it's right there our project is right here as well so that kind of proves that we actually are editing off this external drive here okay that's basically it that's how you do it and this is very important with you know the size of these smaller ssd drives to have a really good quality external drive if you're really going to get into video editing. And I recommend USB 3 or better. And um, preferably Thunderbolt or Thunderbolt 2 drives. So you can get as much speed back and forth between the computer and the hard drive as possible. So when you're editing, you don't feel that lag or anything like that. Okay. Thanks for watching. And don't forget, peace and aloha.